Uh, hello everyone, this is Hoda Genji and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Voronoi pattern uh, which is a different tessellation kind of pattern in Dynamo. I'm going to open a new file. So under geometry, under tessellation, uh, we have the last option here. Uh, Voronoi, which I guess it's a Russian word originally, probably the name of the person who invented this pattern. Uh, so it's kind of like before, I'm going to assume that I'm going to use the Voronoi pattern for facade design. So how about I draw a rectangle with length plane. I'm going to go with XZ plane, so it's going to be a vertical surface. Uh, and again, I'm going to go with like 5 by 5 Just to start with, uh, you can hide the plane. And this is now just a curve I need to patch. So right click on the canvas. So it's going to allow you to type. I'm going to go with patch over there. And this is going to be my wall surface. OK, uh, so it's just like the Delaunay uh, pattern. We're going to uh, assign surface to face. And then we're going to need to create some UVs. So if I go to geometry, if I go to surfaces, because the output is surface, I need to go to surface. And we had the option to create UV parameter at point. So the surface will also go to surface, UVs goes to UVs. And finally, I just need to assign some points. So it's going to create the UVs and it's going to create the whole pattern. Like before, I want to go with a surface, point at parameter. I want to connect the surface to surface. The reason I don't go with a regular point at coordinate, but I go with point at parameter, is that I want to limit the points within the borders of that rectangle. So I'm going to create a random list. I want to assign one slider, integer slider starting from a minimum of 10. That goes there. That goes to U and to V. Uh, actually, uh, as you remember, we have to copy and paste this one. And now the second random list coming from the same slider has different numbers inside. And if that goes to my V, we have um, different points on the surface. For instance, if I put this on 100, we have 100 points on the surface. Okay, now if this goes to my point, it's going to create that Voronoi pattern here, uh, which is based on the distance or equal distance of these polygons, uh, of these sides, and uh, the, the point. So uh, there is a little bit difference between this example and the one that we worked on in the last video. And it's that uh, the lines actually go uh, above and beyond the rectangle. And we need to take care of that. So how about first I organize here a little bit. Uh, so these curves can also uh, be extruded just like before. I can extrude curve. By distance, I can go with like 20 or 30. That goes to distance, curve goes to curve. Okay, so I'm going to actually group these items here, create group. This is going to be my Voronoi curves. So this is just a curve. Uh, I can hide that surface for now. OK, so this is what I'm going to do next. Uh, basically, I want to uh, split that surface using this set of curves. And then I want to get the perimeter of the splitted surfaces to create curves again. So uh, my geometry is going to be limited to the borders of this rectangle. right? So I'm going to uh, go with a split. And that's this option. And this is split. I'm going to split this surface based on the curves that come from here. However, that um, basic surface and the curves 
have to have some kind of uh, intersection, right? Uh, they have to cross each other. So I want to move this element, the very last one, a little bit uh, inside that rectangle. I can go with this option. Surface goes to geometry. And I want to move it in the y direction because this is when xz plane, uh, the normal of that is going to be the y translation. How about I move this by half of the value that I have here? Now it seems um, if I hide this one, uh, let's see if we have enough. Uh, intersection. Yes, we do. So we have enough intersection between uh, this uh, extruded curve and the actual rectangle or the surface that we had before. So if this option goes to my other, it's going to uh, create a lot of splitted surfaces here. I can turn the preview off here. And uh, now you don't see that, but actually I can also turn the preview off here. Okay, now this surface is actually made of uh, a lot of splitted surfaces. Uh, if I get the uh, perimeter of those split surfaces, which is this one, surface curves, it's gonna give me all the lines. Okay, uh, if you think it's not a very good pattern yet, you can work with the parameters. Uh, I don't need to see the points anymore. You can turn the preview off. I would rather go with like 150 or something. The higher this number, maybe uh, the better it's going to look like at the end. I can also turn the preview of this uh, surface off. Okay, uh, this is a large surface, so I need to assign larger values, such as 300. Let's see how it works. A bit better, uh, but not quite there. Let's go with 400. See what happens when I extrude these curves a little bit. How about I go with like uh, 20 centimeters, 0.2. Curve goes to curve. I want to put this on manual. And I want to thicken this surface, so let's type thicken. Uh, let's go with like 10 centimeters. That goes there. I need to run this. And now the only problem here is that it seems that some of the lines are missing. And the reason is that if we come back here, if I pin this, there are 263 uh, split surfaces and that's easy to lose them. So I'm going to actually join the surfaces first and then use translate. Uh, so it's going to keep all the elements for me. So, so right click here, type poly surface. And if we scroll down close to the end, there is by join surfaces. So I'm going to, I'm going to assign surfaces to surfaces and poly surface to geometry and run again, see what happens. Uh, this is getting close. I want to turn the preview off here and you see this was like only one option, uh, but we had 900 items here. I can work with these values, maybe 450 is too much that I assigned. I want to go with 100, go back there, run it again, see how it works. I can uh, try different values, 200, run again and you can find uh, an ideal option there. So that's about it. I can group these items here and this is going to be my uh, facade pattern. You can keep working with different uh, parameters. You can try it for like a horizontal surface if you assign x, uh, y plane. So if you type x, y and uh, go with x, y plane instead of x, z. Then this should go to my Z. Uh, let's see how it works. 